In the midst of the Russia-Ukraine conflict, a brutal struggle unfolds. A clash of ideologies rages on and at the heart of this maelstrom operates a phantom squadron. Known as Code 9.2, Ukraine's elite drone unit, they serve as the unseen eyes in the sky, the silent predators of the battlefield. Their mission? To disrupt, to deceive, to destroy. These are not your average drone hobbyists, they are soldiers, trained in the art of stealth and precision. Their tools are not toys but sophisticated killing machines. Armed with advanced drones, they operate in the shadows targeting Russian command centers, supply lines, and troop concentrations. Every mission is a gamble, every flight a dance with death. The impact of Code 9.2 is undeniable. They have stalled Russian advances, crippled logistical networks, and sown chaos and fear in the enemy ranks. Their success is a testament to Ukrainian ingenuity and resilience, a symbol of defiance in the face of overwhelming odds. But their victories come at a cost. The mental strain of constant combat takes its toll, and the fear of detection, of capture, weighs heavy on their minds. They are ghosts, forever tethered to the spectral world of drone warfare. Their existence a testament to the changing face of modern conflict. Training for Code 9.2 is not for the faint of heart. It is a grueling process, designed to forge elite warriors. Recruits are pushed to their physical and mental limits. They learn to operate drones with surgical precision. They master the art of camouflage and evasion, becoming one with the technology. Their senses extended through the eyes of their mechanical birds of prey. The drones themselves are marvels of modern engineering, equipped with high-resolution cameras that provide real-time intelligence. Their payloads are deadly, guided missiles capable of eliminating targets with pinpoint accuracy. But technology is only half the equation. The true power of Code 9.2 lies in its human element. Missions are planned with meticulous care, every detail scrutinized, every risk assessed. Teams operate in secret, often behind enemy lines. They blend into the landscape, becoming invisible predators. Their targets are carefully selected, the timing of the attack critical. There is no room for error. The tension is palpable, every second stretches into an eternity. The drone operators, their eyes glued to the screens, their fingers twitching on the controls, see the world through the drone's eyes. They feel the rush of adrenaline as they guide their weapons towards the target. Then, the strike. A flash of light, a plume of smoke, a successful mission. Code 9.2's operations have far-reaching consequences. They have exposed the vulnerabilities of traditional military doctrines. The battlefield is no longer confined to land, sea, and air. It extends into the digital realm, where drones reign supreme. The rise of drone warfare has sparked a global debate. Some hail it as a revolution in military strategy, while others condemn it as a dangerous escalation, blurring the lines between war and peace. The ethical implications are profound. Drone strikes, while precise, can still result in civilian casualties. The psychological impact on both operators and victims is a growing concern. The international community grapples with the legal and moral ramifications of drone warfare. The rules of engagement are still being written. The balance between military necessity and human rights hangs in the balance. Code 9.2's operations are a microcosm of this larger struggle. Their success has inspired other nations to invest in drone technology. The proliferation of these weapons raises concerns about a future where wars are fought by remote control. The human cost of conflict, while distant, is no less real. The shadows of war are lengthening and the world must confront the ethical challenges of this new era. Section 4. The Global Stage. Code 9.2's exploits have reverberated across the globe. Their unconventional tactics have caught the attention of military strategists and policymakers. The effectiveness of their drone operations has challenged established notions of warfare. The Russia-Ukraine conflict has become a testing ground for new technologies. Drones are no longer just tools for reconnaissance. They are now integral components of offensive operations. Code 9.2 has demonstrated the strategic value of unmanned aerial vehicles. Their ability to strike deep behind enemy lines, disrupt supply chains and demoralize troops has proven invaluable to the Ukrainian war effort. The implications for international relations are significant. The proliferation of drone technology has the potential to alter the balance of power. Smaller nations with limited conventional military capabilities can now project force in ways previously unimaginable. This has led to a renewed focus on asymmetrical warfare. 
where non-state actors and insurgent groups can leverage drones to challenge established powers. The rise of drone warfare has also fueled a global arms race. Countries are investing heavily in developing and acquiring advanced drone systems. The competition is fierce, driven by the desire to gain a technological edge in future conflicts. The stakes are high, as the mastery of unmanned aerial vehicles could determine the outcome of wars to come. Section 5 The Moral Compass The rise of drone warfare has ignited a fierce debate about its ethical implications. Critics argue that the use of drones dehumanizes warfare, creating a disconnect between the operator and the consequences of their actions. The psychological toll on drone operators who witness the destruction they inflict from afar is a growing concern. Proponents of drone warfare counter that it minimizes civilian casualties and allows for more precise targeting than traditional methods. They argue that drones reduce the risk to friendly forces and provide a valuable tool for intelligence gathering and surveillance. The debate is complex and multifaceted with no easy answers. The moral compass of drone warfare remains a subject of intense scrutiny. The international community grapples with the legal and ethical frameworks governing the use of these weapons. The rules of engagement are still being defined and the balance between military necessity and human rights remains a delicate one. Code 9.2's operations highlight the ethical dilemmas inherent in drone warfare. Their missions, while strategically vital, involve the taking of human life. The operators, despite their training and professionalism, are not immune to the psychological burden of their actions. The long-term consequences of their involvement in this new form of warfare are yet to be fully understood. Section 6. The Unseen Future the future of warfare is inexorably tied to the evolution of drone technology. As drones become more sophisticated, their capabilities will expand, blurring the lines between conventional and unconventional warfare. The battlefield of tomorrow will be a complex and interconnected domain where unmanned systems play a pivotal role. Artificial intelligence will likely play an increasingly prominent role in drone warfare. Autonomous drones, capable of making decisions without human intervention, are already being developed. This raises profound ethical and legal questions about accountability and the potential for unintended consequences. The global community must confront the challenges posed by the proliferation of drone technology. International cooperation is essential to establish clear ethical guidelines and legal frameworks for the use of drones in warfare. The development and deployment of these systems must be guided by a commitment to human rights and the principles of proportionality and distinction. Code 9.2's story is a glimpse into the future of warfare. Their clandestine operations, their reliance on advanced technology, and the ethical dilemmas they face are all harbingers of the challenges that lie ahead. The world must adapt to this new reality, ensuring that the use of drones in conflict remains subject to rigorous ethical scrutiny and international legal norms.